Hi everyone, this is uh, Austin with Sun Fun Kits. Uh, today we're just going to give you guys a brief overview of the upcoming uh, V3 kit. Um, some of you may have actually received the V3 kit with a recent order, even though you purchased V2. So uh, if you did, surprise, um, should work a little better for you. So we want to go over some of the main changes we've done for the uh, V3 kit. Um, the bottom of the case, for the most part, is going to essentially stay the same. Uh, we now have some shims that we've created. And for the most part, these are going to be about 4 millimeters. And that is enough to raise the, raise the height so that it can accommodate taller cells, such as the EVE... Uh, the EVE 304, CATL, and so on and so forth. So that will give you additional clearance for your cell to clear. Uh, the stock bars are really designed to handle like the 280, which are about 204 millimeters overall height. So we'll begin just kind of going over. We have our same, very similar design for our... Um, plate securing plate where we bolt it in so i'm going to pause this and bolt it in real quick and show you some other changes so that will bolt in fairly the same way and you'll have your cells here but as we all know the newer cells are taller and require more room so we have the spacer it's a little smaller but what we have done is integrated a area so you can mount the active balancer so you can see we've got these little pegs printed out and this gives you a nice convenient way to sort of mount your active balancer also provides you an easy way to do it uh, we have some extra air here we may add some add-ons one of the things that we've been thinking about doing is maybe potentially adding a uh, something like a, a apple air tag one of those gps trackers and just sort of making a little mount area for that so that it can handle uh, it can handle that but for the most part you'll line it up and sort of secure it down so you'll bolt these down so i'll do that next just to kind of show you how that goes all right so we've then added the the bms plate and you can see this is v3 um wanted to do some changes to this one some people told us that their bms is popping out um, we we're sort of surprised, but I didn't really see that in our test, but took their feedback. So we added a new brace to keep the BMS in place. So by doing that, you can basically, um, secure your BMS unit in place. Again, don't use power tools like I'm doing in this demo. I know I'm setting a bad example. You should always hand tighten these, but basically what that's going to do is once it's once it's in place is give you a clamped unit that is very secure if you pop this out I, i'm not sure what you're doing with those batteries maybe you're trying to replicate that optima battery commercial where they chunk the battery and see if it breaks so very, very unlikely to break. It's super secure, and this also stiffens up the main bracket considerably. So that's your V3. So now for the main thing, the new tall V3 lid. Yes, this makes all the difference. And we're going to have these in a couple of colors. So you can see this has molded holes. So we can put it together. And now the battery looks like it's all one piece. So you'll just take your bolts. And again, don't really recommend doing that, but in there. And um, if you've got a V1 or even a V2 kit, you can buy the upgrade uh, to this. Now, if you've already, if you were purchased a V2 kit and you choose the ABS light option, we'll be sending you these out for free. They'll be coming out in yellow and red. Um, we have a few in black. If you want to change your pre-order from yellow to black, just contact us. We'll 
change it to change it to black. There we go. We also made sure that the edge is now perfectly lined because some of our customers said, hey, we're having some issues with the edges not lining up. So this V3 is going to make sure it absolutely catches. Okay. And again, if you need it to have a seal, you can use something like this. Now, this is something that one of the viewers recommended that they really said, hey, you guys should be using uh, electric grade silicone. So from, from this point forward, this is what we're going to be recommending. Although we never had problems with what we had previously, but uh, this is specifically designed for electric because of the odors. Uh, it's not corrosive. So you would basically put a bead along here and seal it. And once it's tight tut, you'll have a very, you know, tight, you know, slight tight battery. And in comparison to the old lid, this will accommodate the taller cells. We'll just show the view. And also it has our logo sort of in there. I know it's a little vain, but uh, we molded it. We're going to put our logo on there. And uh, if you don't like it, sorry, but that's what it is. But uh, we'll give you a comparison with the old one. So here's the original lid, and here is the uh, V3 lid. And as you can see, there is quite a, there's about a 15 millimeter uh, distance in height, which is enough to clear the taller cells like the 304s and so on and so forth, including with the studs. So that's going to be the V3 kit. It should be sometime in the beginning of the year, it'll be released. Uh, we're going to have it sort of coincide with the E304 cells that we'll have available, which are going to be our certified automotive grade cells. Uh, that's going to be another video, really exciting. We're going to kind of set the record state on what a true grade A automotive grade cell is versus what a lot of what you find online on what, what it's not. So um, that will be coming out, you know, uh, that video should be coming out probably mid-January. Anyway, a preview of the V3 kit, hopefully coming out soon. Um, we will try to get the order page up. Uh, sometime early January so people can start ordering the V3s and we'll start sending them out. Thank you.